This ancient cosmetic is now a critical mineral. It's in solar panels, ammunition, and AI chips. Meet antimony. Antimony, symbol SB, atomic number 51, is a silvery, metalloid, brittle, toxic, and rare mineral. It expands when it solidifies, just like water. It's the 63rd most abundant element in the crust, which means it's not very abundant at all. And like most other metals, it's a poor conductor of electricity. Ironically, its poor conductivity is what makes it vital in electronics, energy, and defense. Historically, we used it in flame retardants and plastics, but today, antimony is essential for solar panels, semiconductors, and ammunition. You've touched it today. It's in your phone screen, and your laptop circuitry, your car battery, and it's even used in flame retardant coatings for children's clothing and firemen's coats. Solar energy is what's driving demand. Copper indium gallium diselenide. It's used in the advanced photovoltaic cells, and the solar industry now uses more antimony than any other sector. Solar consumption hit 50,000 tons in 2023. Mostly, it comes from stibnite ore. China mines about 60% of it and processes 70% of global supply. The rest comes from Tajikistan and Russia, often as a byproduct of gold mining. You can't build solar, batteries, or ammunition without it. Antimony is a small market, which means it's at severe risk of shortages that threatens many other industries. Production has been falling for 15 years. The reasons are environmental toxicity, mine closures, and Chinese export limits that have pushed prices up over 80% since 2023. Antimony is the definition of a critical mineral. Toxic and very difficult to refine, rare and geopolitically concentrated. But it's essential for global industries, from energy and electronics to security. From ancient eyeliner to the tech arms race, it still shapes civilization.